happy Sunday, OOTD here. I am wearing a black Dudley Stevens, the black athletic top underneath, some athleta leggings, gold to goose snakes, and I threw on this vest in case it's cold out, which I don't think it is, but just in case. We are headed to the mall, I have some returns to make, and then headed to my parents for Super Bowl. And I made the What's Got Be Cooking pretzel knots again. They take a little while to make, but they're totally worth it, so I can't wait to have those. Hey, Rocket. How do you stay balanced? He stays balanced on all the turns. You're in my, uh, you're my vlog again this week, Rock. <laughs> He's pretty good back there. So I want to show my mom's new Athleta mm. jacket. We have to get like the full look, but it's really cute. It came in a lot of colors, didn't it? This is like the green one. Yeah, blue, green, and I think navy. Yeah, it's really cute. How much was it? Do you remember? It's on sale right now. And then my mom has this really cute Lululemon fanny pack mm -hmm. that I want. Caitlin, my sister, has it in black. My mom has it in the green. It's like your new color. I want to get one of these. That's really heavy. There's a lot of stuff in there. It's over here. Yeah. And Rocket's just hanging out still, like a human. <laughs> oh, there's somebody right in can be in my vlog. There's Kate. Rocket, who's here? Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Hi, puppy. Hi. Oh. There's Caitlin. Oh. Hi, Kate. Hi. <laughs> oh, Rocket. <laughs> so many hugs. The gobby pretzels with the dip. Some wings. Dip. <laughs> the spiciest habanero sauce ever. And what else? Oh, salsas and pulled pork. And mom's pork. And pulled po pork next. And uh, Rocket. And I'm pretty much just waiting for the Shakira and JLo concert. But, mm -hmm. and the commercials. Good morning. Happy Monday. <sighs> I am about to get on the treadmill here and then do a legs workout. I put a little bit too much self tanner on. Uh, anyways, this is my Carbon 38 top, my, my um, athletic jacket, some athletic leggings, and I'm ready to go. So let's get to it. OOTD today. I haven't worn this in a few weeks. This is the Club Monaco sweater, gray ragamone jeans. Of course, the Stuart Weitzman over the knee boots because I live in these. And I have these earrings. These are Target. They were part of that trio. You know, the ones that have the hearts or the hearts hang down. That's kind of about it. Uh, this outfit is like one of my go-tos. I highly recommend having a go-to outfit. This week, Wednesday, Thursday, I have to dress up a bit more, and so I need to be really good and plan my outfits tonight so I'm not stressing those two days because they're early mornings, long nights. So right now, I need to get off to work and start my week. Good morning. Uh, it is only Tuesday. My self tanner is calming down a bit. I'm going to do this way. I'm going to do a spin workout, probably 20 minutes and like a 10 minute arms and I gotta go get ready for work. So uh, I will pop back on here later. Sorry, I'm looking at the snacks thing. This thing is fascinating to me. All right, uh, here we go. So I have a very busy next 48 hours at work with work and dinners, work and dinner, work, and work so I may not be vlogging that much so I thought I would cover some things that I do I just wanted to show you so I get asked a lot not like just on the street or by people which is really weird how I do my eyeshadow so I have a bunch of different ways but I wanted to show you my go-to way so first of all I have the NARS tinted smudge proof eyeshadow base I really like that but concealer would work I like to cover up those veins and then this is the magic thing this is Charlotte Tilbury eyes to my eyes to mesmerize Marie Antoinette this stuff is awesome it's like a liquid shadow and then lastly, Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow pencil 
in Amber Haze. Just a couple steps here, it's super simple. I also like to do my eye makeup before my face because I find that sometimes I get like eye stuff on my face and it's not good. So I just put a few dots of this base like that. And then, where's my eyeshadow brush? I just take my concealer brush or my finger, it doesn't matter. And to make sure that this, I'm like, blotting it in, not rubbing it necessarily. Like I'm not like going, choo -choo -choo. it's a real noise by the way. Okay, so now you can see that. Now I take the eyes to mesmerize and I just use my finger. You don't need that much, like at all. And I just pat it onto my lid. I like to have a little more in the corners and then kind of like the rest of it kind of fades into the rest of my eyelid. You'll see it gets messy around here, but you can clean that up with your concealer or your um, foundation, or you can just wipe it off. I mean, start with a little, and then if you need more, add more. That's what I do. But this is really quick and easy, and it looks really cool. I don't, I just kind of like made it up. I had this eyeshadow. I thought it was kind of cool. This has lasted forever, by the way. Okay, I'm just making sure there's no like, you can fix any of this up. So there we go. That kind of looks like I got in a bar fight. Uh, those are equal, that off, take some coffee. Next up, this is an eyeshadow pencil that I use as an eyeliner. And I just kind of like draw a liner. I kind of go up a little bit, pat it in lightly. Go to the next one. It's really simple. You don't have to be perfect at all because you don't have to. You can go like that. I like to do my bottom uh, lashes. And there you go, very easy. And now I will just clean this up and do the rest of my makeup. I'll link uh, these products below in case you wanted to shop them. Today's OOTD is a black Everlane sweater, which I wore the gray one last week, and one of you commented it was so sweet that you love the outfit, so it inspired me to wear the black one. I like putting a longer necklace with it. This is the Monica, I'm out of breath because I've been running around. Monica Van Honor pendant. They sell the pendant and chain separately. Hermes bracelet. Goriana Chloe. Monica Van Honor rings. And the Madewell pull on jeggings. Try to hide that part and rag and boots. I have a long day, I already mentioned that, so clearly it's on my mind. Uh, so I'm hoping this outfit gets me from day to night and I am off to work. Good morning, it is Wednesday. Uh, I didn't think I was gonna have a chance to work out this morning because I have an early morning at work today and tomorrow, but I have time for a 20 minute leg workout then I can go get ready. So I'm gonna do that, go get ready, get to work early, and hopefully have a really successful meeting. I'll be training most of the day. So, um, okay, everyone's here today. Um, yeah, so I, I didn't take any footage of last night's dinner because I was work people and I didn't think they wanna be on video. So I promise you I'll get more footage this week of things. Otherwise it's gonna be a really boring vlog, but um, I'll try to not make it. So, here we go. Probably getting sick of this outfit because I wear it every week. I have, as I've, meant, as I've mentioned, a long, long day with presenting and then going to dinner and all the things. So I'm wearing this Amazon sweater, the faux leather leggings, over the knee boots, Target earrings, ring from my aunt, and I'm off to work. Good morning. I might as well just call this vlog OOTDs. <laughs> I, um, Work's been insane. Anyways, I'm gonna show you my OOTD. Thank you. I guess Mary Anna Mariana, sorry if I'm saying your name wrong, commented and said she loved this sweater. So I was like, you know what? I wanna feel confident today. I'm wearing that sweater again. This time, this is the Everling Gray sweater. 
I paired it with my Madewell black jeggings, the ones that have like, can't tell, but they're pretty much, they're pull on jeggings with my Rag and Moon boots. And then I added some jewelry today. So the Monica Van Otter pendant, and then another Monica Van Otter pendant, and then Monica Van Otter bracelet, as well as the Hermes bracelet. Oh, I forgot my rings. Just loading up on the jewelry today, and then my Goriana earrings. So it is snowing out. I probably should be wearing snow boots, but I don't feel like carrying two pairs of boots. So I'm gonna wear this and my pink coat. I guess I'm in a pink mood today. <laughs> and, uh, and I have some deliveries and I'm so excited about one of them. So when I get home tonight, I will show you those. Can't wait, or it's one, maybe two. Either way, I know one of them I absolutely am gonna love. I should probably grab my tripod, shouldn't I? I, I got a package in the mail. Oh, and we're dark. And I'm back. So I got a package in the mail. Honestly, I'm surprised my makeup lasted this good. Let me put this on the tripod, one second. We have this thing here. So, I was at my parents for Super Bowl Sunday and I was heating something up in the microwave and I noticed this thing in my mom's microwave. I'm like, what is this? Hold on. So she's like, oh, it's just really, I thought it was just like a mat for spills in her microwave. Turns out it's way more than that. So what is this called? A mir miracle wear. This thing, okay, I should have probably opened this before I started the video. I, we're gonna find out together all the uses for it. So this main picture here, you know when you put stuff in your microwave and then the bowl's too hot? This will fix that. Look at that picture. It just like lays, I'm gonna take this out. By the way, I'll put the link to this in my video. So it just lays flat on the little circular thing in your microwave. And if you have a bowl, should I get a bowl? And it's too hot, you can pull it out of the microwave with this, and then it can also be your placemat. How cool is that? That's cool thing number one. And two, pretty much just like I want it for that. It is also a trivet, so you can put your hot pots on there. It can be a pot grabber. You can grab it. I'm making this up, it says it on here. It is a splatter guard, so you can put it on top of your bowl that's in there so it doesn't splatter. A utensil rest, a drying mat, and a jar opener. This thing's really cool. It was not expensive at all. I think it was like 20 bucks. It was, it's worth it. And clearly I am very excited about this. So I wanted to share it with you. Also, um, I just finished my second session with my first client for presentation coaching. And I just like, she's amazing and so easy to work with. And I just absolutely love helping her with her presentation, her skills, questions to ask. It's just, it's really fun. So if it's something that you are interested in, shoot me a DM, text me, email me, and we will talk about it. I, it's just something that I like I'm so excited to offer because it's something that I just am so passionate about and I, I love helping people with their presentation skills and maybe it's a specific presentation, maybe it's overall skills, whatever it is, shoot me a DM, let's talk about it and we'll figure out uh, what the right package is for you. But it's just, it's really, I just like absolutely love doing it. So I am going to make myself some dinner and I have another package, but I think I'm honestly gonna wait till tomorrow to open it. Good morning, it's Friday, and working from home, which means I get to work out an hour later when it's light up. So I am going to just, by working out, I mean I'm gonna walk on the treadmill for half hour, and then I'm done. I'm gonna go sit at a coffee shop, eat breakfast, and get some work done. And uh, God, doesn't it just look cold out there? I don't think it's that cold out. But, yep. Oh, and then I have an unboxing to do for you later. Very excited about this one. So I mentioned I had a really fun unboxing to do. It is this long teddy coat, which my friend Amanda sells uh, at her store, on her store's website. 
and it's so cute. I just love it. I didn't mean to have like this deadly on with it and this outfit, but I couldn't wait to try it on. And she sent me the cutest thank you card. So thank you, Amanda. I love this. Love your store. Shop Albany and Avers. I'll put the link in the description box below. And I'm gonna show you the full look. Again, I wasn't planning on throwing it over my Dudley, but I feel like it kind of works. Maybe even better with my black one. So this is the gray um, teddy coat, and I just think it's so, so cute. I found the pockets, and I'm so excited to wear it. I think that I probably, like if it was cold out like today, I think I could go outside with it. It's a lot warmer than I thought it was. So cute, and... Yeah, I can't wait to wear it with like all the things. So check out Amanda's website, Albany and Avers, and you won't be disappointed. She has incredible picks to choose from. All right, I took the Dudley off so I could show you what it was like because it looked a little bulky because I had all the layers on. Now I just have a simple white tee underneath. I am loving this. Probably gonna fold it up like this to warm up. Um, so cute, so cute. I'm probably gonna live in this love it so i am headed to a coffee shop breakfast place that i absolutely love you've seen it before it's really close so i'm not wearing a coat which is probably not the smartest idea but i decided to throw on this athletic vest over my dudley just in case it's chilly plus this has a ton of pockets and throw on my golden goose snakes pockets in my leggings i mean really i haven't put makeup on and i haven't decided whether i'm going to today I put on self tanner last night, the tan lux drops, which by the way are the easiest self tanning things I've ever done. I feel like I need to do a video on it. They're really great. I just need to shoot it before and after and kind of always tan now. Okay, why is this weird? So I am trying out different mascaras because I got the lash tash mascara thing in December. No, before that. Anyways, this one is YSL Mascara Volume, the curler. This is very interesting. Like I'm trying to see if, I, I think I like the effect. I'm not sure I love it. This brush is so odd. It's like flat here. You can't, like it's not round, but then this side is round. That side is not, it looks like it is, but it's not. And so you actually like, it's a very interesting way of putting mascara on. So we'll see if this flakes off. I like it, I don't love it so far. First impression, not the best, but we shall see. Time for a whole food trip on a Friday. Ooh, almost fell there. And also this tan is a little aggressive. I'm understanding why my boyfriend made a comment about it. Uh, so I'm heading, or I'm at Whole Foods getting some stuff for dinner and for tomorrow, and it looks like it's not that busy, so I'm very happy about that. Amazon coat spotting right there. Wild Friday night over here. Um, I should probably turn the volume down on this TV. I am making a semi-quick chicken stir fry I uh, have my instant pot here. So what I did is put some olive oil and herbs to province, along with some salt and pepper on the chicken breasts, put them in the instant pot, like on that trivet thing with a cup of water underneath, and then set it to 10 minutes. And then I also have a bottle of, not a bottle, a pot of water boiling. I'm gonna put in some broccoli in just a minute. And then over here, I am chopping up this. Ooh, that started. It's great. Chopping up this onion. So what I'm gonna do is put broccoli, onion, probably a little garlic, the chicken, and oh, easy way for rice. I don't know if you have a Trader Joe's by where you live. But I'm putting this in the microwave for about 30 seconds, not 30 seconds, three minutes, and it'll be perfectly cooked. And then, oh, one more thing. This is all over the place, sorry about that. Where is it? It's this no soy teriyaki from Primal Kitchen. I really love this stuff, so I'm gonna put that in there too, like at the end, in just a little bit. And I will try and take some more videos along the way. Wow, sorry that was all over the board.
So I'm headed to Nordstrom. I want to get some new bras. I'm hoping my girl is there. And I decided that I'm not going to do my makeup. I'm going to see if they have a spot for me at Char Charlotte Tilbury to do my makeup. Also, I decided not to wave my hair. It's one of those Saturdays. I got my makeup done at Charlotte Tilbury and I I mean like I don't need any makeup but like look at this this is the stuff I don't know what it is actually yeah so it's great it's a big sure that looks so good yeah so I hope this looks cute the eyes are a little different than what I'm used to but it's cute In case you didn't notice it, that was an Amazon coat in navy. Never seen it in navy. I did up to lingerie, but I do need to say hi to Sammy. I think I might do that after. So I'm back home. I have my Nordstrom stuff, and I got a bra and I got a bunch of makeup, which I'll show you tomorrow because I don't feel like taking on the package today uh, or maybe Monday tomorrow either way i want to say thank you for watching this week's vlog even though it was like probably the least eventful vlog i've done but it was just one of those weeks next week i am headed to washington dc and we're going on a white house tour and a capitol tour i can bring my phone in like i can't bring my phone all the way in but i will I just want to see if there's someone there. Uh, what I was going to say is, I will, next week's vlog should be a lot more entertaining simply because I will be in another city. So have an awesome day, week, night, morning, whenever you're watching this. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.